how to interview a sales candidate. Now this is an absolutely critical skill any business owner, CEO, or sales leader is going to want to nail. So make sure that you listen all the way through because at the end, guess what I have for you? A free gift, completely free, and it teaches you exactly how to run my play for interviewing. Hi, I'm Michelle Terpstra and I'm a Chief Revenue Officer and this is another episode of Ask a CRO. Make sure that you like and subscribe so that you don't miss any future content and I can help you grow revenue. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in. So first of all, this might be going against the grain a little bit, but this is my view on successfully interviewing sales candidates. Now, I've done countless interviews and I've coached business owners, entrepreneurs, and sales leaders to do their own interviews, and this has happened every single time without fail, and I don't want you to make the same mistake. Now, here it is. Skills can be taught. Bad habits are really hard to break. Now, why is this so profound and important to you when you're going through the hiring process? Well, what happens more often than not is that business owners, sales leaders, entrepreneurs, they go to hire somebody that has excelled before. Okay, so you look at their track record, you're like, wow, this is amazing, they're knocking it out of the park, look at that close percentage, you know, look at how many times they um, beat quota, right? All of these things are amazing, but just because someone was successful selling another product or service, it does not mean they will be successful selling yours. So what I like to focus on during interviews is making sure that I like their habits. I like the way they handle stress. I think they'll be a good cultural fit. They're in alignment with my core values. These are really critical pieces and you have to ask these behavioral questions, but the way that you ask the behavioral questions needs to be tied back to the sales skill set. So I'm gonna give you an example right now. This is a great question that you can ask during your next interview. And after I say it, I would love to know your feedback in the comment section if you've ever used it before or maybe you haven't and you're super excited to use it next time. All right, so here's the question. Call volume is down. There is absolutely no way that you're gonna hit quota with the amount of calls that are booked on your schedule. What will you do to meet or exceed your goals this month? Super profound, friends. Now, why am I asking that question? Let me explain some of the psychology behind it. So first of all, they have to be great at sales to even know what the heck it is that I just said. They also have to be great at sales in order to identify how they can fix this problem. And lastly, depending on what they say, we'll show you exactly what they do under stress, what they do and what they're willing to do to meet their goals, and any past experiences that they've faced that literally was like this and how they were able to still achieve their goals. So it ties together both behavior and it ties together skills. But the way that they answer it will also give you insight if they are a cultural fit or if they're aligned with your core values. So for example, if one of your core values is that we, we work until the work is done, right? So, you know, I think a lot of scaling startups, they don't have the nine to five regular schedule. It's you work until you achieve your goals, right? So if that's the personality you wanna make sure is coming into your business, like you wanna hear answers that are like, well, I'll take an 8 p.m. sales call if that's what I need to do. Oh, I'll go make 100 dials out of the CRM. I've got this. That is a core value match. And you wanna make sure that you are listening and taking notes to ensure you hire the best person for your business. All right, so you might be wondering, okay, great, Michelle, that was a wonderful one question, but how do I know the other um, questions I should be asking? Well, this is the thing, is I love myself a good guide, a blueprint, a plan. I'm a major process person because when you put processes in place, then you're able to see what's working, what's not, you can improve them, and it just takes a lot of cognitive load off of the business owner, the entrepreneur, the sales leader, to make sure that you're asking the right questions at the right time and seeing that success. So what I designed is a seven category interview set. So that means you have to touch all seven categories. And I also provided sample questions for each category. And this guide for you is completely free. 
and it is a thank you for being a subscriber to this channel and Sunday Sales Delight. So we're gonna go ahead and link the guide down here below and you'll be able to find it in one of our posts, which will make it really easy for you on Sunday Sales Delight. Now, if you're not already a subscriber to Sunday Sales Delight, it's a weekly newsletter that covers everything you need to know about making more sales and of course, increasing revenue. It is designed for sales leaders, sales pros, entrepreneurs, and business owners. It drops every Sunday, it's free, and I would love for you to be on the list. It's enjoyed by thousands, and I hope that you are next. I'll see you next time.